Hi everybody, it's April. Thank you so much for watching my channel today. I wanted to share with you the October 2017 My Monthly Hero Card Kit. It just came in the mail and I thought I would go through it with you. So you have the huge 6x8 stamp set that has, I counted, 65 individual images. <laughs> it's ridiculous, right? So super cute. I'm just really excited to play with this set. Um, you probably have seen a lot of the cards that have been made, just wonderful little scenes you can put together. Um, I'm going to just come up a little bit closer here for you so you can see them and what is included. So you have the outdoors, kayaker, the dog sled team, ice fisherman, uh, actually it looks like a fisherwoman. You have some uh, little images, you know, the walrus, some fish, you have a mountain stamp. You have a little Eskimo dog, you have a moose, polar bear, and more ice, the igloo. You have some signs. Now we're getting into the elves and their workshop. Tis the season. You have some uh, Christmas lights here. You have a lot of small images to set the scene from Santa's workshop. Elves at work. A lot of toys that you could put around the Christmas tree. You have a rocking horse, you have like at the town village, Mr. and Mrs. Claus, the train set from the bottom from all of us. Sorry if I'm going too fast. And then you come over here, you'll have the clock tower, happy holidays, you have some carolers, you have a silhouette of Santa and reindeer in the background, Christmas time, you have a another sled here with the reindeer and you have these little lines on the bottom to create some lines of snow banks. Snow banks also have a little mini uh, lantern with a wreath around that and this one says Santa's workshop as well. So super cute images, outdoor, indoor, you know, scenes, North Pole scenes, you can do a uh, Christmas village and the uh, coordinating dies that are included are going to be three border dies. You're going to have the mountain peaks, the treetops, and the village. So you have these three border dies that are just going to cut, um, you know, the image. So what I've seen some people do is take this and literally, like, make it go to the end of your cardstock. So you, and then you can set all your scenes in front of that, like layer it. So that one's the uh, village. You're going to have a coordinating die for the city town hall, a larger Christmas tree, one of the smaller houses, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. You're going to have one for the other little house. You're going to have the dog sled team, the clock tower. This is another image of one of the uh, workshops. This is the silhouette of Santa with the reindeer. Now I'll show you on the front. This one has a coordinating die. This one will have a coordinating die. The clock tower, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. You're going to have the Christmas tree here, the silhouette of Santa, and this is one of the house, like a gingerbread house. So you have one, two, three. I'm not sure if that one is the other one. I'm trying to figure out what this one is. Let me see. It might be Santa's sled. It could be that. Or it could be the elf. So I'm not sure about that one. I apologize. Um, so yeah. And then of course you have the three huge dies to do the um, border scenes, you know, in the background. So that is the stamp and die set. Now looking at the backer sheet, I'm not going to take it all out. But looking at the front of the backer sheet, it looks like some snow banks with some uh, water in the front, if you wanted to utilize that. And then, of course, the back has a huge polar bear. So, okay, that's the Stampin' Dies. It also comes with some silver embossing powder, a good amount there. I'd say, like, this is a, Simon so says stamp, so it's, you know, this is a regular size. So that's still a lot of embossing powder. And then you're also going to get, um, let's see here what it's called. This is a, a thick lacquer pen. 
So I was thinking it was a type of glue, but it almost looks like glossy accents. It says a thick lacquer pen is what this is called. It's just clear fluid. And then, of course, the My Monthly Hero um, black ink. I believe this is Copic Safe. Um, it was supposed to come with a white unicorn ink cube, but I got black, so yours may vary. I just realized that when I looked up the description of what's supposed to be in the kit. Um, I actually have unicorn white, so hopefully that is just fine. Let me double check. <laughs> I have the Hero Hues Unicorn White Pigment Ink. So yeah, so thankfully I already have one. But yeah, um, if that happens, I would assume it just meant that they ran out, so they substituted, which happens a lot. Okay, and then also for your papers, you're going to get two sheets of, it looks like adhesive. Let me double check. Um, it looks like, it says six 5x7 decorative, decorative papers. This is very... Uh, loose glitter. It's coming off in my hands. But that looks like it might be adhesive. So you have two of the glitter in silver. You have one decorative paper that is a really beautiful silver foil. And again, it might... Oh no. Is there two of those? Yes, there is. So there's two of those. And then also two of this textured paper is really pretty. It almost looks like styrofoam, <laughs> like the packaging. Okay, so that's that. And then, of course, it was tied with a sheer ribbon. So that's everything that came in this month's kit. Again, remember that your ink cube may be different. And I just really quickly wanted to share with you a couple ideas, what I had in mind. Um, if you have any um, snow globe, if you have the October kit from last year, um, that one actually was a snow globe set with very small images like this. So I would bet um, that they will coordinate very well together if you have that from last year, their kit. Um, I just recently purchased the My Favorite Things snow globe kit, so I thought this would be really cool to utilize the My Monthly Hero die and make a, a card like this, but using these images here, creating a scene inside the um, little the little dome. So I thought that would be a good idea. Also, I just recently purchased the Tim Holtz Alterations Snow Globe die set with another snow globe. So again, you know, creating a small image like this, this is what this is basically intended for, is to make little scenes. So that's what I'm going to use it for mostly is doing little scenes and making them into like a snow globe if I can. Also, I have the Lawn Fawn um, it was like a shaker, lawn fawn, a uh, snow globe shaker. It was like a huge set that you could get the shaker add-ons. That's also another snow globe kit that I have that I'll probably be using. So, okay, if you guys would like to win a copy um, image of these stamped out for you, I will make two copies of this entire sheet, and I'll be drawing a winner for that in one week from today. So all you have to do to be entered to win the images stamped out for you and get some happy mail from me is to click that subscribe button and just leave me a comment down below letting me know that you'd like to be entered. Thanks so much for watching guys. Talk to you later. Bye!